help us get our life plan in place is David L. Carrier, and he brought a very special guest here with us today. That's right. Hi. Hi, Leah. Who, and who did you bring with you? I brought my wife, Lily. Oh, Ooh, yes, she's is lovely. Lily. It's nice to meet you. Nice Lily to meet is, you. Uh, Lily is a nurse. Um, she's uh, practicing both in China and uh, in here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Went to MSU. Okay, I mean, yeah. So, you know, number one and all that. Do this party thing. Right? <laughs> I get you. I get you. And, come from. and you know how so much of, of what we do in the law firm is, um, you know, we do legal planning for folks and how important it is um, to have the family support for that. Sure. And I think, you know, as uh, Lily can, uh, you know, can testify. You know, it's important the same thing with, with the medical stuff, right? Sure. Yes, I work with many patients uh, in many nursing settings in both countries, in mm -hmm. China and United States. Sure. You know, in order to meet their medical and nursing needs, and we really, it's really important for us to come up with a workable care plan. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, um, which involves with uh, their supporting system. Uh, that would be their families. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we do this the we do the legal planning. Lily does the medical. You know. Absolutely. It, it, it works. Yeah. You know, what she knows too that a lot of things that happen to people sometimes aren't always planned. Exactly. You know, right. Right. And, and especially if you're getting a little bit older, you should almost plan for you know some not so great outcomes. Right? That's right. You got to be right. got to be looking ahead yeah. at, at all times. And the family support is so necessary. That's why, uh, you know, in the life plan workshops, we always invite. Uh, the kids. So bring your kids to the life plan workshop. If you're if you're coming yourself, you can bring the kids. Uh, we're doing on the Christmas Eve Eve. We're mm -hmm. doing the double header uh, workshop. Twenty on the twenty third. We have we're having uh, two workshops actually, mm -hmm. and we like to do these in the holiday season because so often now the the parents are the kids are at home. Sure. You know they can bring the kids yeah. along and all that. So. Uh, right. Come to the life plan workshop and bring the bring the kids. It's really a it really is a good experience. Are there know, some questions that people should kind of have prepared ahead of time? Does that always help? is that always help if people are kind of maybe jot down a couple of things to bring your way? It works really right. well because yeah. you know before right. the workshop starts, we always ask what what is it you'd like to know before you leave here today? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so if you've brought a couple of questions that you'd like to have answered. Well, we can handle those uh, in the course of the workshop. So yeah. whatever the particular issue is you have, yeah, absolutely. bring it on down. As right. we wrap up, a, uh, wrap up this year and go into a new year, I guess this is a goal that many families should probably put into place, right, if they haven't done it already. It's not a conversation everybody always wants to have. Right. You know that right. Much, right? right. It's a great place to mm -hmm. open up the conversation mm -hmm. because um, that will really give them opportunity to assess their needs mm -hmm. and also to uh, define mm -hmm. uh, what type of community resources and then especially the financial sources yeah. Yeah, that they have. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And these workshops, there's no cost for people to attend, right? Well, you do have to take a cookie. Okay. You know, you got to take a so cookie. your at least, waistline is going to pay for that's it, That's right, right. Well, you got to take at least one cookie <laughs> off our hands. Uh, oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, and then, and then, of course, for the New Year's Eve Eve workshop, we do, uh, uh, we do special surprise prizes. Uh -huh. you know, uh, and the way we keep them a surprise is I don't decide to like the night before what the surprise is going to be. <laughs> okay. You know, so sure. I can't tell you what it is. But you know, I couldn't help but surprising. notice that someone else, a couple others were kind of trailing in behind you. One guy was very yeah. recognizable. And one young gentleman you talk about often. If, do you want to usher them up here? Perhaps? Well, you know, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, we talk about families and people think well, mom, dad, and the kids. Yeah. Well, in mm -hmm. Kent County, in our area, mm -hmm. uh, not just Kent County, but there are a lot of families which are. Uh, grandparents raising the grandkids, yeah, older right. people, seniors uh, raising younger kids. Sure. And one of the, the programs that support that do not include uh, such items as soaps, toiletries, cleaning products, that kind of thing. And so this is our second year where we've participated in the Be a Santa to a Senior program. I love that. So if that. you're coming to a workshop, we'd ask that you bring, um, it could be uh, shampoo, mm -hmm. could be toothpaste, could be anything. Sure. Um, anything like that, cleaning products, what have you. Okay. Uh, because we donate those uh, to the uh, uh, to the families, to the seniors who are uh, raising their kids. We did two dozen uh, buckets. Oh, and look, here comes we another one. We just might have a bucket example here. Go oh, look at this. Look at these fine looking oh. gentlemen. Come on in. Oh, Colin and Santa. Come on we in. We recognize Ooh. Santa. And, and who else did you bring with you today? This is Colin. Hi, Colin. Welcome to the morning. You know, we've, thank you, Santa. Oh, thank you, Santa. You know, we've, often Santa. Used, we've often used Colin's. Uh, Toys as yes, props. Thank you, know, you for that. By you've the way. seen we've seen his uh, his Smurfs here quite a bit. <laughs> yes, we that have. right? Yeah, he always wants to know why Daddy's playing with his Smurfs. But but this is a this is the typical bucket that we'll we did two dozen of these last year and we're looking to break the record this year. Nice. And it's all from people who um, 
Who tell, plus, you get your, you know, your law offices of David Carrier ornament. That light up. Yeah, that's another. Wow. Yeah, I love that. That's another little surprise. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's all kinds of all kinds of this stuff. Uh, you know, cleaning products, uh, shampoo, uh, whatever it is. When you come to the workshop, just bring something. We had we had uh, two days ago. We had somebody just came in with the full bucket. You know, oh, or I guess it was yesterday. It must have been yesterday. Yeah. They brought in the. They filled the bucket themselves and brought the whole thing in. Nice. So it's nice. It just. Um, it's just one of those things you can do to support, you know, our families and uh, including the non-traditional. And there's ones. lots of great sales out there right now, but dollar stores never under, underestimate what you can find at a dollar <laughs> store. You guys, right. you can fill that bucket up for right. twenty or, bucks. Or you know, and it's not just the. Uh, or Meyer. Yeah, or yes, Meyer. Meyer is also a great local place to shop. <laughs> right. you get the buckets. Local business. Yeah. So That's once right. again, real, real quick, um, go ahead and plug your your upcoming workshop for everybody. Yeah, the workshops are. Uh, you know, we do these uh, every single week in Grand Rapids, and then alternate weeks in Holland. Or Cal or um, or Muskegon, mm -hmm. uh, and the the workshops are filling up. We're almost full for the morning session on the 23rd, uh, but we've gotten very strong response, very strong response. So, uh, if you uh, if you have any interest in coming, be sure to give us a call at 361-8400. Uh, Great, that's our uh, that's our phone number. And, and it's not and too late to, to get those there. wish lists into Santa. Have you Santa? Have you two? Have you and Colin been discussing what he wants for Christmas yet? Has he made it that far? We're going to do that right after the show. Right after the show? Okay, make it a private situation. I need to get my list into you, too, by the way. I've really been slacking on that. Are, are you on the good list? Wait a second, oh, Santa. You're what supposed to know that. Come on. Horrible oh, question, oh, Santa. But thank you so much. And we're on the air. I know. That's right. We're better not, better not say. Right. Phones are ringing right, right now. But yeah. thanks. Right. Speaking of phones ringing, go ahead and give David Carrier a call locally at 616 361 8400, toll free 888 463 2843. His Grand Rapids office is 4965 East Beltline Northeast. And if we could just wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. May, and Happy so New Year. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Absolutely. And Happy New Year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you.